y Mario. Power Up Mushrooms, One Up Mushrooms, Bowser, Goomba, Toad, we have Mario, Luigi, Princess Toadstool, Bullet Bills, Chomp Chomps and everyone else. This is Mario Mondays, I am Retro Flea, I'm gonna be taking you around the Mario universe every single Monday in a new episode. So as Mario would have said, here we go! Today I'm playing Super Mario Bros. 2 as you can see and uh, this game is a bit different from the other Mario games and I'm gonna let you know just in a moment. But first of all, Super Mario Bros. 2 is a 2D side-scrolling platform game. And the objective of the game is to navigate the player's character through the Dream World subcon. And uh, in the end of at the end of the game, you have to defeat the main antagonist Wart, and he is a big ass frog. So you're not gonna see this in this video because I'm too damn bad at the game and it's too damn hard to get there. So the player takes on the roles of the four protagonists of the game, which are Mario, Luigi, Toad and Princess Toadstool. And all four characters, they can run, jump and climb ladders and vines, but each character possesses the unique strength that causes them to be controlled differently. For example, Luigi, he can jump the highest, and Princess Toadstool, she can jump the farthest. She basically hovers in mid-air for a moment when you press the jump button. And Mario, well he isn't like an average Joe, he's good at everything. And then we have my personal favorite, Mr. Toad. He's short, he's strong, he's fast, pretty much like me, so that's my favorite. And if you ever get a chance to play this game, go play as Toad, because he is awesome. So the player chooses character to use before the start of each level. Uh, unlike my other Mario games, the characters cannot defeat enemies by jumping on them. Instead, you have to pick up and throw objects at the enemies to defeat them. These objects include vegetables, which are plucked from the ground, or other enemies. So you can take one enemy and beat him to death with another one. That is pretty badass. And the game consists of 20 different levels across the 7 themed world comprising Subcon. And each world has a particular theme that dictates the obstacles and enemies encountered in its levels, such as desert areas with dangerous quicksand and cacti, and snow areas, well, that, that basically means ice and slippery surfaces. So beware. And the level contains multiple sectional rooms that are connected via doors or ladders. Some rooms are accessible only by entering certain jars, much like the pipes in Super Mario Bros. 1. Uh, magic potion found in each level are used to temporarily access subspace. That's an inverted area where the players can collect coins and mushrooms that increase uh, the maximum health. In addition, certain jars when entered in subspace, they will warp you to later worlds, skipping levels altogether. Basically cheating, so I don't do that, I hate cheaters. And other items available include cherries, which are collected in order to acquire a starman, and the pole block, which can be used to quickly destroy all enemies visible on the screen. And the player starts Super Mario Bros. 2 with 3 extra lives, which are lost each and every time the player, well, he loses all health, or he falls down the pit, or, well, you know the drill. He dies. So the player can replenish health by collecting floating hearts with... Uh, they appear upon defeating a certain number of enemies, and I'm not sure what the number are, but I bet you can figure it out when you play this game. The player will receive a game over upon losing all lives, though the player may continue up to twice in one game, so that's a really good thing. If you get to work and you die, you ha don't have to start over from the beginning, like in the first one. And additional extra lives may be obtained by collecting hidden one-up mushrooms, or by using the coins collected in subspace to win the slot machine minigame between levels. And you get to see the slot machine minigame a few times in this game. So why is this game so different from the first one and the third one and the later Mario Brothers that we know? Well, basically it's because Nintendo America, they found the Japanese uh, Super Mario Brothers 2 too difficult and similar to its predecessor. So they decided to redevelop Doki Doki Panic back into a Super Mario Brothers sequel for release outside of Japan. So if you have played Super Mario Brothers All-Stars on the Super Nintendo, you know that there's a game called Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels and that's the original Super Mario Brothers sequel. So now you know that. Since it became so successful around the world, Super Mario Brothers 2 have been considered a classic Super Mario Brothers game worldwide including Japan. And it has since been released in the Super Mario Bros. All-Stars, and it's, it has been remade as Super Mario Advance for the Game Boy Advance handheld system, and its design elements have been included in Super Mario 3D World for the Wii U. So, basically, Super Mario Bros. 2 
or Super Mario Brothers USA or whatever you want to call it. It's a great game. It's a bit different, but and if you're a Mario fan like I am, you better love this game because it's Mario. It's awesome. You get to kill enemies. You eat mushrooms. Uh, yeah, you eat mushrooms. So, <laughs> yeah. So that's it for my second episode of Mario Mondays. I really hope you enjoy the show. And uh, please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions. What I should do to make this series better. And uh, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't done it already. It's going to be a lot more retro gaming on this channel. I already started Let's Play Punch Out. And it's going to be a few more episodes because I only made the minor circuit in the first one. And uh, I got partnered with Machinima, and that's pretty cool. So please like the video, please share it, please get me the viewers so I can make the cash. No, I'm I'm not in it for the cash. I'm in it to make videos and play retro games. So thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you have a great day, a great week. I'm Retro Flea, and I'm out of here. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.